lot of, I think it's to make costume jewelry or something like that, and it's all nautical to use in my shipbuilding. These are inexpensive through Amazon, but that's much too bright a chrome. You want it to look aged. So what I discovered is um, Novacan Black Patina, and this is used to age solder joints and things, uh, maybe in stained glass windows. So what I'm going to do is mix it with some water and about 50-50, and I'm just guessing. So I'm going to put in, like this is kind of a copper colored little steering wheel. The thing that was really dramatic is this costume jewelry chain. I got this in a craft area. It wasn't very expensive. And goes in bright chrome. And you'll see in a few minutes, it'll turn that to a, a dark, old looking. And this particular one, give you an idea, hopefully you can see the difference. Bright chrome and a very dull, aged, almost rusty looking black color. Much improved. It does take a little bit for it to react. At first I thought, well, maybe I didn't make it strong enough the first time. Um, but you probably can't see. Let me make it so I get a close-up. Actually, the uh, ship's wheel has already started to change quite a bit. What I'm doing is putting on the gloves so then I don't have to fish the things out. So here's chrome going in. Let's let's do this chrome anchor. And now I'll check on the chain. I use this as an anchor chain, but you could use it for numerous things. It's almost completely black and there's just a little silverness left to it. On this particular one, I'm going to leave it like that. But I did another one and I, it completely had turned like an aged black. So right now, compared to a chrome one, you can see some change. I'll leave it in longer. Right now it looks rusted. Whoops. Here's one the one that I did earlier. And you can see it's very dark. Now on the brass, this one is a kind of a one of a kind. Let's see if I can force this to focus. So we'll see how this ages. I don't want to do it too much. I'm going to go ahead and age all of these, everything. But I wanted you to have an idea of what it looked like before I started. So if you want to age trinkets, it's a good way to do it. Okay, this is uh, about how I'd like it. I think this one here is that one that was real gold colored. The bronze ones still have a little hint of bronze. You probably can't see that on camera. But it definitely does a good job of aging the different parts and pieces. Very happy with the product. Very happy with these little jewelry pieces or medallions. Then the last step that you want to do is uh, Rinse them off in some fresh water. So I've got some here. And just take them and get that solution off of them so they stop darkening. And just kind of spread them out and you can let them air dry or you can tap them dry. So again, that's N-O-V-A-C-A-N, Black Patina. I did order it online through Amazon. 
Okay, it's time to put the finishing touches on our ship. Uh, I've got the cannons ready, I've got the swords ready, I've made a couple extra barrels out of dowel rod and then just took a uh, wood burning tool and some stain. There's our little treasure chest, I have some nautical flags and this is themed, the name of it is Discovery. So I've got a globe, uh, some other memorabilia to put on the ship, and, then, and uh, I may have mentioned nautical flags. So let's start putting this together. I'm going to go ahead and do the cannons first. And I use the tacky glue for this because sometimes I have to move them around a bit. And this gets a little tricky. If I can't reach, I'll take a Q-tip or a stick, probably a stick to get the glue to go where I want it to go. And I just put a glob, start wherever you'd like, and I take a cannon, and I get, grab it by the base, stick the barrel through, and then I'll go to the outside, and kind of pull it into position.